What's up guys, King BMO TV here for another foundations draft. You know the drill. Take a quick second, like the video, would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. All right, we got a really good rare, Archmage of Runes. I have played this card a little earlier. I think I opened it like, um, I don't know. I, I didn't first pick first pack, at least I don't think I did. Uh, we're gonna take it here. It's really good. Five mana, three, six, instant sorcery spells you cast cost one less. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell, draw a card. So if you have Think Twice in your hand, you pay one blue, you draw two cards. That's pretty good. It's not recall, but it's pretty good. Now we're also passing a time stop. That's okay. I don't think time stop's like broken enough for someone. The guy to my left has to be blue. But um, we are also passing a ban uh, Banishing Light, Prideful Parent, Fiendish Panda. It's probably the best three cards after the Archmage of Runes. So I would say we're probably not going to end up blue-white or at least not see too much white pick two. So let's take it. It's pro This is probably best in blue-red. Do we want to be blue-red? We'll see. We'll see. Keep our options open. We got a little bit of lag here. I don't like that. Hopefully that's temporary lag. Hope it's not laggy for you guys. I'm pretty laggy right now. Oh, yeah, I'm super laggy. Okay, not great. Um, we have an Atali, Primal Storm. I'm getting Deja Vu. The last time I have Archmage of Runes in my deck, I also had Atali. I'm going to do it again, I guess. I think I 7 2 that draft. So, Atali, 6 mana, 6 6. Whenever it attacks, exile the top card of each player's library. Then you may cast any number of spells from among those cards without paying the mana to cost. So you attack each each opponent, or you and your opponent flip up the top card of your library. You can play both of them as long as they're not lands. So, because it says cast. If it said play, you could play the lands, but it says cast. So you can only cast a non land. So we'll take a tally here. Guess we're blue red, right? All right, so this pack, we have an Elementalist Adept, which is a solid two drop in this deck. We also have a Seismic Rupture. Um, I'm going to take the Seismic Rupture here. I don't think this card is amazing, but it's probably pretty good in blue-red spells. Um, it's really good against a couple decks, you know, red-white, green-white, and any deck that kind of goes wide. And Elementalist Adept isn't a card that makes me very uh, excited to play. So I'm going to take the Seismic Rupture. Um, we'll go from there. Yeah, I'm really lagging right now. I don't like this. Uh, pick four here. No real good blue card. No real good red card. I, I like Goblin Surprise in the blue-red spell stack because it's a spell. It's also a creature. Um, I don't really want to force red-blue. Like, we could have taken Llanowar Elves last pack and then Llanowar Elves this pack and maybe abandoned the blue and just been... Red green or green blue. Didn't think we'd miss two packs in a row. I think I'll take the Goblin Surprise here. Uh, hold out a little bit longer into our red blue spells. Uh, Burst Lightning, pick five. Great. Oh, God, another Land War Elf. Maybe the guy at our left has three or will have three Land War Elves. Uh, that's cool. Burst Lightning here is good. Great signal. Happy to have it. It's cool that Mocking Sprite is here. Actually, Mocking Sprite isn't that good. But yeah, we'll take the Burst Lightning here. You want a Burst Lightning in any in every deck. So uh, wouldn't wouldn't mind the Shivan Dragon here either. I think if the Burst Lightning wasn't here, I'd take the Shivan Dragon. Although we're pretty, we have a couple heavy drops already. Uh, Big Fin Bouncer is good. So is the f Fire Splitter. Welp, three mana, two, two. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, or a dragon spell does one damage to each opponent. So is Itali a dragon? No, it's a dinosaur. Isn't a dinosaur a dragon? No, isn't a dragon a dinosaur anyway? Uh, Big Fin Bouncer or Fire Splitter Whelp? I'm going to take the uncommon here. I'm going to take the Fire Splitter Whelp. It could be the... Um, it could be the... The Mana War. But I'm going to go with the... Uh, the whelp here. Uh, this pack, not great for us. No blue cards, which means there's at least one other blue drafter. Given we haven't seen too much blue, maybe blue just isn't there. But we are drafting, like, blue-red spells. So our red cards are for red spells. They're not like, you know, not like for red-white or red-green type cards. Um, 
So I could take a throw possibility here, but I'm actually going to take the horn beetle in case we want to pivot off of red. Uh, sorry, pivot off of blue because horn beetle is very good for red green. So let's take that. Okay, pick eight. We have four blue cards, so <laughs> I'm not too sure. Uh, Mocking Sprite's cool. Elementalist Adept is okay. And Firebrand Archer. I should pick one of the two drops up, I think. I feel like I kind of like Archer more than Adept. I'll take the Adept because it has Flash. Um, I think that's pretty good. We'll take the Mocking Sprite here. There's another Adept. Now I wish I took the other one. Yeah, Adept is fine, but like it's it's not amazing. You know, you need a lot of really cheap spells to make it good. So, I mean, we'll take another one. I'm not playing any of the other cards. God, why am I so laggy right now? I'll take the Runaway Together. Runaway Together is a card I totally play, especially if we have cards, a lot of cards who enter the battlefield effects. Why is my computer so laggy okay pack two we have a high society hunter really nice card five mana five three flying when this creature attacks you may sacrifice another creature if you do put a one one counter on this creature whenever another non-token creature dies draw a card so it's just like vampire gourmand but bigger and better right so vampire gourmand's a charmander this is a charizard um i don't think we want charizard in our deck though i think we want talarian terror or burst lightning I think I'm going to take the Burst Lightning. They're both very good. They're both very important. I'm hoping we could table Talarian Terror. It's totally more of a red-blue card than just a blue card. Whereas Burst Lightning, there's no way it'll table. So we'll hope to table Talarian Terror here. Stranger things have happened. And I'm lagging like crazy. Got another Land War Elves. There's so many. And this is coming from the left, too. So the guy on our left is in green. Uh, Battle Song Berserker is really good. Not really a red blue card, but just like a really nice card. Four mana, three, four. Whenever you attack, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, gains menace. Um, pretty good. Even if this is on like that, um, if you have that two mana, one, two flyer that loots every turn, has vigilance. I mean, this would make that a lot more effective. So I think we'll take that here. The Grappling Crapple, uh, Crappling Kraken isn't bad either. Whenever a land enters, you stun something. More of a green-blue card, but... And then Thrill Possibility is fine. I, I assume we'll end up with at least one Thrill Possibility. We also have a Witness Protection here, which unfortunately is not a Sorcerer Instant, so it's a little less thematic in our deck, but it is solid. I'm so frustrated how laggy this is. Hope it's not too laggy for you guys. Uh, okay, pick three. We'll take the Fey Bloom trick here. Um, this is just like uh, Goblin Surprise, like a more control version of Goblin Surprise. Three mana, make two 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature tokens with flying. When you do, tap target creature and opponent controls. So you're on the play, turn three, they're going to attack with their two drop. Instead, you tap their two drop down, you make two fairies. Uh, nice card, you can use it at the end of the game too if they have a big threat. Uh, really good card, really good card in this deck. Uh, pick four, another good pickup here, Spectral Sailor, one mana, one, one, flash, flying, pay four, draw card. Um, nice card to play on turn one, good later in the game, good early in the game, checks all the box, checks all the boxes. This would be a card that will be nice to have when we have Battle Song Berserker in the play. You know, we're attacking for two with Menace every turn, you know, and we can still play defensively. Uh, I wouldn't mind a Mocking Sprite, maybe a little later, but... Another Fabloom trick, great. Uh, I totally would play two of these, probably pay, play like four of these, honestly, because making two 1-1s one with flyers are just like, that's a threat. You know, that's a serious threat. Um, refute wouldn't be that bad either, but pretty easy Fabloom trick, I think. Wow, another Fabloom pick? <laughs> I, I called it out. I said I'd probably put four of these. I'll take another one. Take another one. Banishing Light's pretty good as well. Icewind Elemental, I think, is pretty okay. Um, but easy Fey Bloom trick. Uh, Big Fin Bouncer, we'll take that this time. Seismic Rupture is worse in our deck if we have all these Fey Bloom tricks, though, right? So just something to think about. Will I want to play it later? We'll see. Depends with how, how many creatures we we um, we end up with. Like Seismic Rupture also kills Big Fin Bouncer, right? So we'll see. 
Okay, pick eight. We have a Light Shell Duo, Fanatical Firebrand. Both of those would be okay in our deck. I'm going to just take the dual land here, Swift Water Cliffs. We did table Talarian Terror. See, those are important decisions to make here. Maybe Talarian Terror would have been better in our deck than Burst Lightning, but now we got both, right? There's no way we would have tabled Burst Lightning. So taking Talarian Terror here is great. Um, really good for our deck. Um, we have two Burst Lightning, a Big Fin Bouncer. So we don't have a ton of removal, but I think I'd rather have the Thrill than the Witness Protection, more instant sorcery stuff. I do hope we have more instant sorcery enable stuff and not just like prowess triggers, right? I'll take another thrill here, probably won't play it. Like I'd love, well, Mocking Sprite's good here. Surprising to see Dazzling Angel still in this pack. Refute, okay, so I guess blue's open. We didn't see too much pack uh, one. All right, going to the pack three. Um, I, th we, I still like a little bit more. Maybe the red blue signpost on common. Um, we could use a think twice. We haven't seen a think twice yet this draft, which is a bummer for sure. We have 21 playables, 11 creatures. So yeah, that's kind of right on schedule here. Uh, this pack, I think I'll take the arcane epiphany given we have a Tali, Talarian terror and, uh, archmage of runes. I feel like we don't really need the Shivan dragon. Not that it would be bad, but Arcane Epiphany is really good. Right now we have three wizards. I think they're all the... We have two Elementalist Adept and one Archmage of Ruins. So I may not play both Elementalist Adept, but five mana draw three cards or four mana draw three cards at instant speed is good. Happy to have that in our deck. So let's hope we get the red-blue signpost on common. Uh, I could use a Think Twice or two. Maybe another removal spell. Um, all right, Selefit Ink Mage, three mana, two, two. When it enters, surveil three. It's a lot. And then if you have Threshold, this is unblockable. Fine. Uh, we're going to take the Talarian Terror here. We also have a big black rare here. Seven mana, six, six, flying. When this creature enters, search your library for a card, put it in your hand, then shuffle. That card's fine. But yeah, we'll take Talarian Terror here. So we have now two Talarian Terrors. Let's, let's get... I really don't want any more creatures. And if I want creatures, I'll be replacing creatures, right? Um, but I like how many spells we have. I love the three Fae Bloom tricks, that's for sure. Wow, look at this pack. Look at this pack. Archmage of Runes, Heartfire Immolator, Burst Lightning, Uncharted Voyage, Think Twice. Wow. Oh my God, why are they all here? I would totally just take these and walk away from the table right now if I could. Wow. I don't know. Archmage Ruins is really good, right? But, like, we do already have one. This pick is so hard. I need an hour to think about this pick. All right, I'm going to take the Archmage, but I was, like, this close to Burst Lightning, to be honest with you. Uh, getting Think Twice here is awesome. Yeah, because the Archmage is great, but, like, we have to be able to survive to turn five, Right? And all the spells make Archmage Runes better and make Talarian Tower better. So um, happy to take Think Twice here. Can we end up with an Abrade? That would be crazy if we can get an Abrade now. Uh, Witness Protection probably won't play it, but we'll take it here. I'm not going to play any of these other cards. Firebrand Archer. I think I could play one of those. Don't want Runaway together. It's so unfortunate all those picks were in the same pack, right? Uh, another Adept here, not going to play. Pick eight. Another Adept, we're not going to play. I don't want Threaten in this deck. I mean, I, I don't think I want Witness Protection either. Pick nine. Icewind Elemental, we have enough five drops. We're not going to play it. I'm going to take Brass's Brownty here for the gems. Uh, Shivan Dragon tabled. I don't think we want it, given we have two Archmages, two Terrors, and an Atali. Maybe I'll play the Turtle. Good blocker, right? Um, I think the next pack was the, yeah, the next pack was the one that had all the juice in it. Inspiration from Beyond is cool. I didn't hate this card um, the last time I played it, but I guess I'll take the Voyage. 
Yeah, I didn't hate the card last time. I had a lot of looting, so it was nice to discard that, right? Because it had flashback. We're at 28 playables right now. We're definitely going to cut some of these. Slumbering service. I, I mean, we could play this card defensively, but uh, we don't have any power for greater stuff. It just doesn't really serve a purpose here. Still don't know why my laptop's lagging so much here. Okay, maybe the lagging is done now. All right. Let's build this deck. I mean, the deck definitely looks good, right? I mean, we have two Archmage runes. How bad could it be, right? Um, God, this lag is driving me crazy. All right. Um, I think I'll probably play 17 lands with this deck. Our curve's kind of high. Uh, we want to make sure we don't list, miss any land drops. I wish we had a little more draw. Like I could, I would kill for another think twice. And for removal, we have the two burst lightnings. And uh, I mean, that's kind of it. I think I'll probably cut the rupture. I'm not sure. This lag is driving me crazy. F yeah, 15 creatures is way too much. I don't want this many creatures. I'm going to cut uh, one Elementalist Adept, maybe even two. Two Mocking Sprites is probably too many. I think Goblin Surprise, I don't know, Goblin Surprise can probably stay. Goblin Surprise is pretty good with the Fabloom tricks too, right? If we have a bunch of flyers. Um, I think I'll cut the turtle. We just don't have a ton of early drops. I don't want to get super overwhelmed. The turtle might help, actually. I'm going to cut the adept. And I'm going to cut the runaway together. That's 13 creatures. I would still want to cut more creatures. It's not that we want to cut creatures, but we don't want to cut sorceries in instance, that's for sure. Especially when we have four spells that are just kind of creatures, right? I like the throw possibility. I want to make sure I have plenty of draw in this deck if we're going to play 17 lands. Firebrand Archer can block and do a bunch of pings. Same thing with Fire Spirit Whelp. Well, Battlesong Berserker, I think we could probably cut this, actually. It's very good, but, um, you know, I don't think we really need it. And I guess I'll cut the seismic rupture. I think we should be able, we should be okay. Like if, if two damage to all creatures is going to be helpful for us, we should have enough like one ones to make it work. So this is 12 creatures, 11 instants. That's great. No enchantments, no artifacts, just creatures, instants, and lands. That's awesome. No sorceries even. Uh, I think it's good. The curve's a little high for sure. 3.3 is very high, but we're playing 17 lands. We have two burst lightnings for early in the game. We have a turtle to help us block. We have Spectral Sailor with draw, Archmage of Ruins, Arcane Epiphany, I guess Refute, Thrill, Think Twice, so it's six draw spells. Yeah, I think this is good. I think this is good. Yeah, wish I had another think twice, but I think I think I like how we're building this. So let me just make sure my mana base is good. I hate how laggy. I might even restart my computer before I play these games because this is bad. 16 and 7, way more blue than red. So we'll cut a mountain here. We only have one double red spell and it costs 6 anyway, so... That looks good. So I'm going to pause. Oh, I can't even, I can't restart my computer, right? Because I'm recording. Duh. Um, I'll figure it out. Let's play some games. Okay. Playing Average. Avery Reg? I don't know. All right. 
uh, on the play looks fine. If we get flooded, we could thrill away the cards. We got the Nut Fairy draw. I don't think there's any, too much fairy synergy in this set. Not that I'm aware of, at least. You know, I really like these beat-up sleeves, right? But, like, we're playing limited, you know? All the cards should be brand new. Okay, they're not there. Okay, mulligan. All right. Another Fabloom trick. Got to get used to drawing that card. Okay, so we got Thrill of Possibility now. Um, I'm not going to cast it. I feel like I'm not really in a rush for that. Play Mocking Sprite here. Maybe we'll get uh, a Braided. All right, so they have something. They have a Braid. They have Burst Lightning, right? We just pause there. They have something that targets creatures. Heraldic Banner. I haven't seen anyone play this card yet. Three mana. Uh, as this artifact enters, choose a color. Creatures you control the chosen color get plus one, plus oh. Tap it, add one mana of the chosen color. All right. Let's attack for two here. Not going to play Big Fin Bouncer. We'll just pass. Probably play Thrill Possibility and Fabloom Trick at end of turn. Thanks, Mocking Sprite. Phoenix. This creature attacks each combat if able. Ferocious. Being in combat in your turn, if you control a creature with power four or greater, you may punt, pay one red. If you do, return this card from your graveyard to the battlefield. All right, they're going to combat. We'll play Fabloom Trick. Tap their creature. I could just play a second Fabloom Trick here. Attack for six next turn. Like, that's a lot. If we had Goblin Surprise in our hand, they're dead. Isn't that crazy? They're literally dead if we had Goblin Surprise in our hand. <laughs> I think I'd rather like I can't I don't even have to tap it next turn, right? Yeah, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just cast Thrill here. Alright, no goblin surprise anyway, right? Alright, let's attack for four. Could play Big Fin Bouncer. I'm gonna play Big Fin Bouncer. I still have Think Twice mana open too. I think we won this game, guys. I don't know. It's if they play the uh, Pyroclasm card that we drafted and then put in our sideboard, I'm gonna freak out because they're red white. You know, red white shouldn't have that. Okay. All right, we're fine. We're fine. I'm bummed, but we're totally fine, right? They're just a red white control deck because that's 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 what happens, right? We're going to Vanishing Light now, too. Shivan Dragon, okay. Oh, it gets plus one, plus oh, that's fun. All right, let's Fabloom trick that guy. Attack for six. What do we get? Counterspell and land? Cool. We'll play Tolarian Terror. This deck's pretty good. Okay. Uh, I think we just swing out, right? Awesome. So I think they have a burst lightning. They go to six. Uh, I guess we just cast everything, right? Terror. I think they have another wrath. Okay. How good did our deck look that game, guys? That was that was nice. One, two, three, four, four more wins. Four more wins of diamond. Let's let's get it. Let's start off 5-0, right? That'd be nice. Okay. We're playing Tobias and Rhiannon the first. Okay. Whatever. Crazy name. Alright, we'll keep this one. Looks good. Nice draw.
White, blue. Okay, so that's the flying deck, right? They have something. Maybe they have a creature and essence scatter. Okay, go. Okay, Bine, Brineborn Cutthroat, two mana, two, one, flash. Whenever you cast a spell during an opponent's control, put a one, one counter on it. That would be a card that our deck would benefit from for sure. Sure. Take two. Prideful Parent. Okay, cool. We'll cast Think Twice here. Burst Lightning is good. Mocking Sprite is good. All right. I think we'll just attack for one here. We'll play Mocking Sprite, and then hopefully we can go nuts next turn because of Mocking Sprite. How many Mocking Sprites am I playing? Two, okay. I was surprised we drew them both games. I, th I thought I only had one, but I mean, Mocking Sprite seems really good in our deck, so we'll take five here. So if we draw an island here, we can play Fabloom Trick. No, actually, we we don't need that, actually. Healer's Hawk. Okay, it's a lot of creatures. Okay, I think we just pass here. Um, I could Burst Lightning the Brineborn Cutthroat, but I don't think that's necessary right now. If they had mana up, then I know it might get bigger, but right now it only gets bigger on my turn anyway, so... Let's pass here. I like uh, Fabloom Trick and Goblin Surprise here, actually. I also like drawing cards. So they'll probably attack with everything. We play Goblin Surprise. We can block the Cutthroat, the 1-1 one, one token. I like killing the, the Healer's Hawk here, too. I'm going to let them attack. And let's hope we kill a lot of these guys here. All right, so we'll play Fabloom Trick. Maybe I should have played Goblin Surprise first, actually. We'll tap their 2-2, two -two, not that it matters. So we'll block the 2-1, we'll block the 1-1 one, one Flyer. I think that's good. We could also Goblin Surprise and, like, kill the Prideful Parent. We can even just, like, block and play Goblin Surprise. I really want to keep our Mocking Sprite alive. I think we'll keep this the way it is. We'll block here. We'll block here. We'll take five. We go to eight. It's pretty low. Still have Burst Lightning up just in case. Okay, Resolves. I'm going to cast Burst Lightning here. Then I'll cast Thrill Possibilities, get rid of the Goblin Surprise. We go to 10. Banishing Light, probably on the Mocking Sprite, right? That's a bummer, right? We're really making the Mocking Sprite work. Spectral Sailor. I, I don't... I think that was a bad play. Like, one card costs one. One card costs three. I only have four mana. If I had 12 mana, maybe. All right, let's attack with our 2-1. Play Archmage Runes. If they don't have any removal this, this turn, I think we win. They only had one card, plus they drew one. Let's hope it's land creature, and not land banishing light. That sucks. Nice time walk. Oh, uh, we, we have, we'll have Fabloom trick next. No, we don't have another blue. That stinks, man. All right. Nice time walk. 
If we had another blue here, we're playing more islands than than mountains, right? It's very unfortunate, right? This is another blue here. We have Fabloom Trickle mana open. Could they draw another removal spell? I didn't see what they did with the Surveil. I think if we untap, we win. Well, that's a lot of creatures. They're gaining a lot of life, too. Okay, land's not great. Let's cast Think twice. Don't want to play that mountain in case we draw an island. No island? Ah, oh, come on. All right, let's attack for two. Damn. All right, we're gonna cast Fabloom Trick. We'll tap down the Dazzling Angel. Helpful Hunter's a good draw. We can win this, man. We just need to draw Sorcerers and Instance and an Island, you know? One mana, make two creatures, tap their creature, draw a card. I'm at five. Bro, I'm at five. What, dude? What? Okay, sure, I'll take the win. Thanks. Okay. Dan X3. Hand looks fine. We need some more draw. Maybe our uh, favorite fairy. Mocking Sprite. Red green does nothing on turn two. Sure, that's good for us. We'll play Spectral Sailor end of turn, I guess. Maybe, maybe I'll play Goblin Surprise, actually. Green. All right, so they have triple green. Yeah, I'm going to play Goblin Surprise. Start attacking them. Get a source of an instant in the graveyard for Talarian Terror. <sighs> Major Ruins. Let's hope we, we have a land on top. Five mana. Five, three. All right, we can't kill that yet with Burst Lightning. No land. All right, let's draw one. Or not. If I could have played Fire Splitter Whelp and have a red open, I might do it, but. That's a lot of spells. All righty. I guess go. <laughs> We're very close. We're close. Cast Refute. Probably discard the Fire Splitter Whelp here. Yes. Yes, we do. Electro Duplicate. Uh, okay, so we're going to Burst Lighting that. Surprised they walked right into that, given the way we tapped our mana. If they cast Electro Duplicate on that, they'd get another land and another card. That's a pretty... Crazy attack. I mean, all right, we're, we're just doing fine now. We haven't seen any removal from them, so we'll probably see it now, but it is still have it has a big body, so we can't attack because the Elf Sworn Giant has reach. So, again, we untap with Arc Major Ruins, we should win. We have Burst Lightning. Is that oh, that's a flashback, okay. That's their whole play. That's their whole play. This is the turn. This is what they're doing. Not even playing a land. <laughs> if I had a land here, maybe I'd play this, but I think it's a little greedy right now. 
Is it? I'm, is it? Like, what else am I going to do? Say go tap down the giant? I could play. I could tap down the giant now. I'm going to just play another one, I guess. All right, man, I'm tapped out. Okay, looks like we're chump blocking that. Cerberus, sure. No attacks. Love it. Um, I think we just say go, right? And we just kill them next turn. <laughs> like, somehow. All right, so we play Fae Bloom Trick, cost one. We tap down their giant. We make two tokens. Oh my god. All right, so I don't think we're dead. Because we're drawing a lot of cards here. Tap the A5. Um... Burst Lightning the 5 4. Let's draw another Burst Lightning. Not that lucky. Okay. okay. The 5 4 7 5. That's, that's not bad. Take seven. Uh, I guess take two. They have more? Okay, so we're going to lose our Archmage of Runes here. Do I want the one life or do I want an untapped land? I think I want the one life, given we are drawing four cards here. Okay. <clears throat> so Lanwar Elf will die. We'll take none from Lanwar Elf. We'll take four from the other card. All right, Terror costs one. Big Fin Bouncer costs four. I think if they have another overrun, we're still okay, so. They just played land, then giant. <laughs> Not giant and land. That was a fun game, right? This deck is fun, dude. It's so fun. All right. Radamanth. Radamanth, 80? Or... Radim and the 80. Hand looks good. Not busto or anything, but pretty good. Turn two Archer, turn three Mocking Sprite, probably. Archer playing green white. We drew our double red. Prideful Parent, sure. Play Mocking Sprite. Uh, if they tap out and then attack the Prideful Parent, I'll probably trade with it. But otherwise, um, oh, now we can't trade with it. All right, we take five. Do I trade with the token? I'll trade. I'll trade with the token. All right, we don't want to bounce either of those two cards, so we'll do the old Fey Bloom trick and thrill possibilities. I 
think I'd rather tap down the lifelink creature. Although Prideful Parent has Vigilance, it shouldn't really matter, though. I guess this is like a net four, right? Because they, they gain two, we lose two, so... Take three. They have some instant that cost green, white, less than five, so... Could be anything. One white open, so now we'll see if they have an instant that costs one white. Other elf creatures you control get plus one plus one. Whenever it attacks, you gain one life for each attacking elf. And reach. So let's see. We play this, and there's a pause. They have a one white combat trick. Doesn't look like a pause. All right, let's hope we draw two lands here, or an, a land at least. Okay, good. Uh, we did discard our mountain, which now looks pretty bad, but... I think it's okay. Um, I guess Bouncer. Bouncer on the 3-4. Attack for four in the air. And maybe we'll top deck a mountain. I, I still think casting Thrill there and discarding what I did made sense. Especially if we top deck a mountain, right? Okay, us taking six, them going to 20. That's unfortunate. Oh, we top decked them out. All right, I guess I should stop attacking, be a little bit more conservative here. I am going to attack with the 2-1, though. We don't want to lose this game. We should win the long game. They don't have a one white combat trick. We know Spelling Blow is a sorcery, so that's not what they had. So we know they have an instant in their hand. We just, it could be anything. So if they're attacking very comfortably with Prideful Parent, one white again. All right, so we get to attack with the Tali, and we have Uncharted Voyage. Uh, an island there is not great for us, but let's hope we actually hit something with the Tali here. We hit two things. Excellent. Excellent. Did they double block or did they triple block? They double blocked. All right, we'll bounce the Prideful Parent. What's cool, we could have played Uncharted Voyage on like their Tatiova, then they put it on top of their deck, and then we attack with Tali. But they might they might have caught that. Um, do I want Mocking Sprite? I, I don't actually want Mocking Sprite, right? Another early scoop. I guess that means our deck's good, right? Uh, one win away from Diamond, it'll be fun. Okay, we are playing Ku, Ko, Ku, Koi, Ko, Ku. Um, classic. All right, we'll mulligan. All right, we'll keep this one. I guess we get rid of Tolarian Terror. Right, you can argue to get rid of the mountain, honestly. We don't need that many mountains. I don't know if I passed quick enough there. So they know we probably have Burst Lightning now, but that's okay. Just waiting a second, so they think I was in full control before. Uh, okay, we'll land and pass. Don't want to see any more mountains, all right? We'll need another island for this. We'll take three. All right, cool. We got another island. Uh, not the best bounce target ever, but it is a two for one, right? So we know they have an instant that costs green, black, you know, three or less, that's green or black. So there it is. Okay. Uh, if they attack, I'll trade with that for sure. That's a good one. Beginning of your end step, if creature died this turn, choose one. Gain two life or draw a card and lose one life. I could burst lighting that right now, but I'd rather cast Arcane Epiphany, I think. 
I think our, us drawing three cards is more important than them drawing maybe just one for now. We can always burst lightning it later. Scavenging ooze, okay. I mean, that is a little relevant for us, for sure. They left open double green, black. I guess they're gonna scavenging ooze more than once, right? That's the plan, okay. Ooze is getting big. Uh, nice draw. Hopefully, they don't have a kill spell for this. Because that ooze is going to be tough to deal with. Yeah, so I think if we can attack with Atali, hit anything relevant, I think we're good. But ooze being a 4 4 right now, not great. We could still burst lightning it. Oh, man. Uh, they might just cast Wrath here. I don't. I I don't want to walk into a giant growth. Maybe they just wanted to trigger Wardens of the Cycle. All right, let's hope we hit something here. Uh, if they scavenging lose end of turn, we'll cast Burst Lightning. That'll be the plan here. We just hit two cards. Awesome, we did hit two cards. Let's get two one ones. Great blockers. Let's bushwhack. We'll fight this three four. Dead to a stab now. Are they gonna cast stab now? Bite down. Oh my god. Spells on spells on spells, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, that's good. I think we win now, right? That worked out nicely. Oh, how the tables have turned. So if we block, they draw a card, right? We'll take it, I guess. Giant, 5-3 reach. Now they'll play 3-1, probably. Sure. Surveil, sure. Let's hope we draw some instant here. would be great. Uh, no instant. All right, let's attack with the 6-6. Six, six. Burst Lightning. Can I kick this? I can kick this. I will kick this. Awesome. Love that. Chump block, great. We'll play Tolarian Terror here. And we have Spectral Sailor. Think this is gonna be a GG. Now they can't attack with Warden. Wardens, Wardeness. Wardens. Bite down. We got two mana up. They are not scared. All right, so that's three damage to Atali. Are they going to do it again? Double bite down? Bushwhack. Okay, fine. I mean, now they get the warden, Wardens of the Cycle, right? They get to Surveil. They have one card left in their hand. So bite down is probably the instant they had way back when. Oh, what died? Oh, yeah, a couple things died, right? I'm like, nothing died. So they're going to draw a card and lose one life. All right, we'll draw a card now. All right, looks like we're going to play a Mocking Sprite. They take six, they go to three. Ambush Wolf, okay, we can block that. Um, we are, we're dead to an overrun. No overrun. 
Not over into sorcery anyway, right? Wow, they have a lot of these. They're gonna gain. Oh, they're still alive, right? We got three in the air, puts them to one. They block the Talarian Terror. We could just like try to draw Burst Lightning here, right? I guess we could have drawn a card earlier, right? In case we drew Uncharted Voyage. Yeah, we don't actually don't have another Burst Lightning. So yeah, we only have Uncharted Voyage, so I would have had the top deck that, actually, or Fabloom Trick. I should have drawn a card there, that was a mistake. Um, let's hope I don't regret that. We have seven toughness on the field, six health. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're good. Nice, okay, back to diamond. Now I could lose the next three games and not be really salty because at least I le leveled up. All right, shooter's gonna shoot. Rank 145. As soon as you get out of platinum, you play the top 150 player, right? <laughs> That's okay, our deck's good. Let's hope we draw some more inter interaction, right? We drew our three, three slowest cards in our deck. Shooter's gonna shoot. Green, all right, two drops, nice. Red, green, courageous goblin. I will trade with that if they attack. Ambush Wolf. Oh, can't trade now. Okay, I feel like Mocking Sprite is better in our deck than Fire Splitter Well. I will trade either of these with Ambush Wolf if I can. All right, so they have a lot of creatures. Big Fin Bouncer, or Mocking Sprite into Turtle. Mm, I like Big Fin Bouncer here better, actually. They'll still attack with Courageous Goblin. Bounce 3-3. Three, three. Courageous Goblin won't get Menace, but it'll still attack, and I'd have to trade with kind of something that's worse than. Or Turtle Mocking Sprite. I block the 3-3. Three, three. Land where else won't attack. I'll take three. So I'm probably going to take three either way. I think I'd rather have the Turtle in. And I'll hold back the Fire Splitter so they don't attack with the Land where else. You know, I should win this long game here, so. Ruby's fine. If Ruby attacks, it gets bigger now. Treetop spinner, snare spinner is really good. So Ruby gets bigger. What do we do here? Ruby is an unfortunate, right? Um, Do I just take eight and go to six? I don't really want to lose Mocking Sprite right now, so. We're at six. All right, not drawing any sorcer in sorceries or instants is kind of a bummer here. But they won't have this power for a greater thing next turn, so. Unless they draw another creature. We draw a Think Twice or a Burst Lightning or... Well, now they do, right? I'll double block that with the Turtle and the Fire Splitter Whelp, I think. Where are our Sorcerers and Instants, bro? I can't even cast this right now. Cost seven. 
is unfortunate. I think I think we're just gonna lose this game just because we didn't draw a single sorcery in instant the entire game. I mean, killing that is pretty important. I think. Trade, we take none. We still got our big turtle in play. All right, we'll play our seven mana Talarian Terror. Good, good attack at the end there. Smart player. So I have to block here. I take four. I go to two. Yeah, I mean, we just got super unlucky that game. Like, we have 11 instants in our deck. We didn't, you know, didn't draw one until now. So that's okay. Again, not going to be salty. We hit diamond. Then we mulliganed. Played a rank 145 player. And didn't draw a single instant the entire game. So... That's okay. That's all right. We'll get two more wins. We'll end up 7-1. Let's do it. Apparently, I'm the only diamond player um, <laughs> because I waited 50 seconds and I'm playing another ranked mythic player. So, um, hey, it's cool with me, man. I, I don't care. Uh, hand looks good. We're going to need a third land, but we have Think Twice to help us there. So that's good. We're going to gain some life early on. Help us against an aggro deck. Now, our tally has been pretty good this draft. If you guys watch the other video, that's essentially the same draft video, uh, draft game as this. You'll notice my tally was way worse in the past. Uh, I'll play the creature here. Hopefully, we just draw land here. We'll call land mocking sprite. Uh, a girl can dream, right? Nice. Okay, land mocking sprite. Mocking sprite's been solid in in this draft. Will they kill our Mocking Sprite? I hope not. If we draw land, we can cast Arcane Epiphany. Nine lives familiar. Okay. Ooh. Awesome. Alright, let's attack for two. So nine lives familiar. When it dies, it comes back with one less counter. Reassembling Skeleton, two mana, return it from the graveyard to the battlefield, tapped. So two both pretty solid cards. I think I had both of these in my blue-black deck I drafted once. They don't attack with nine lives familiar to me, which seems like pretty silly, honestly. I guess I have a lot of mana up. I don't, I don't know. Big Fin Bouncer. All right, so they're going to target our Mocking Sprite here. So we're going to play Arcane Epiphany. Draw a boatload of cards. Play Mocking Sprite, and then we'll have Think Twice or Burst Lightning open, or Goblin Surprise open. We'll see which one we do. I don't mind Burst Lightning, the Big Fin Bouncer. Yeah, I think I'll probably do that. I'm gonna block, actually. I think that's better. If they have something, then we'll cast Burst Lightning. Love that. Love that for us. Love that for us. God, I love that. That's like, that is the best thing that can happen in Magic, right? Your opponent plays a combat trick. You respond with a combat trick. Can't beat that. Are they missing a land drop here? Gutless Plunder. Okay, this card's good. They mill themselves. They surveil three, basically, but you have to put two in the yard. That's what this says. And Death Touch. So we'll cast Think Twice. We could play Atali next turn. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like playing Fire Spitter Whelp and then Goblin Surprise and Thrill Possibilities maybe even better than Atali. I'm, I'm like not even joking. 
We haven't seen any removal from them. They have a death touch creature too, right? I'm gonna play everything but the Atali. Yeah. Maybe we can kill um, the two one ones with our goblin surprise too. They got their fifth land. I bet you that was the card that was on top. I'm gonna go to trade with the plunderer. They're letting that resolve. All right, I'm gonna play thrill now. And I'll play Goblin Surprise now. They're gonna need that food token. So, and they just played Bacon to Pie, right? So they would have done that on Atali. Oh my. All right, so we have Archmage of Runes. And we'll have Fae Bloom Trick that only costs one. I think that's probably better. We'll probably just win in the air now. Uh, I'm going to swing out, actually. Sure. Skeleton comes back tapped. Nine Lives Familiar does not. And we have Think Twice for one as well. Uh, we tapped our mana wrong. Thanks, Auto Tap, because we would have been able to cast Think Twice and Fabloom Trick if we tapped our mana differently. If we tapped the Triple Red and two Islands. Shouldn't come back to haunt us. Um, so that's fine. These still cost two. So that's fine. We don't have to cast Fae Bloom Trick right now. Like if they play a a flyer, right? We want to do this now so we could tap it. Now win in this game, that's for sure. Right. Let's swing out. I mean, it seems silly to even attack with the Archmage runes because they have nine lives familiar, but. They have one less life now, right? Okay, so let's hope they don't play the Sacrifice 13 Creatures card. That would be really bad. We have Think Twice, so we'll draw two cards, but take one. Please don't have it. Please don't have the Wrath. Please don't have the Wrath. Please don't have the Wrath. Arbor of Woe. Okay. Okay, that makes me discard a card, right? Which is fine. When it enters, each opponent discards a card, loses two life. You draw a card, gain two life. Okay, so they're still alive. Cast Think Twice. Nice. Um, I don't know if we cast this now. I think we probably do. I could play Mocking Spray first, actually. That way it only costs one. I think that's fine. All right, we didn't draw anything relevant, unfortunately. Swamp and turtle, okay. Not the best Atali ever, but not the worst. They take four. I think we played a land already, right? We didn't play a land. Okay. That's cool. They're fighting, man. They're not giving up.
They attack with a 5-4, I'll just chump lock with a 1-1. One, one. Second main phase, 6 mana. Big Fin Bouncer, okay. Yeah, seems right, sure. Spectral Sailor. Let's hope we draw another instant or sorcery here. Or at least during our, tr our draw phase, draw one. Come on, can we get one now? Yes, we can. Um, so we have five, six in the air. So they could be dead here. Guess we'll bounce the Strix Lookout. Tolarian Terror does not really help us if we're trying to kill them this turn. I'm going to get rid of it. It doesn't really help us. If we needed to, we could draw another card here. Just try to draw the Burst Lightning for the win. We have a 10% chance. Or Big, Big Fin Bouncer also, 10% chance. Okay. They have some. No, I think they just have the skeleton. So now we're, we're going to attack with lethal in the air. So. Good game. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was a good game. We were winning most of it, though, I think, right? And they didn't really have much of a chance, I feel like. Not that it wasn't a good game, but like. Yeah. A little bit more one-sided, but cool. One more game, right? Six, six, one. Yeah, six, one. All right, one more game. Okay, two, two aisle, two, two aisle. Again, no diamond players. You guys, let me know in the comments if you're a diamond or am I the only one. Um, we definitely need some lands here. I think we only have one wizard in our deck, right? Because I cut the two adepts or whatever. Yeah, we have one wizard. Actually, we have two, right? We have two Archmage of Ruins. So let's hope we draw a couple islands. I think if we draw islands our first seven draws, we still we still win this game. <laughs> like, seven in a row, totally fine. All right, I don't need any mountains. I mean, I'll take, I'll take one, but that's it. I don't want any more, just islands. Beastkin Ranger, okay. All right, good, island. All right, play Mocking Sprite. If we untap with Mocking Sprite, we're probably pretty good here. All right, that's good. We take four. All right, if we play Arcane Epiphany, we'll draw three cards, which will put us to nine cards, 10 cards during our draw phase. Then we play Land, we have nine. Then we play Archmage of Runes, we have eight. We still have to enter discard. Wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Yeah, it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Taking six isn't great here, though. I can't do it. Oh, should I? This will cost two if we play Archmage of Ruins next turn. I'm going to I'm gonna bounce the Warden. I'm a coward. I don't want to just get overrun here. We should win the, we win the long game for sure, I think. Look at our hand. It's juiced. Okay, we'll keep that one. Another, another four mana creature. All right, let's play 3-6. Let's hope they don't have any removal for it. Like, if they just killed it, if they play Bake in the Pie, we probably lose this game. But if they just say go, we win this game for sure. So, so Arcane Epiphany costs two right now. Draw three cards. 
Okay, I think we're good, guys. It's weird they played that. Oh, they're gonna... Yeah, there you go. I'm like, it's weird they played that. I'm like, oh, no, the death touch. Yeah, so we... I, I think we lose now, unfortunately. I think we win this game on the play. But, um, you know, if Grandma had balls, right? I think if we drew the... Um, big, If we draw a big fin bouncer here, we might be okay. No. Just gonna try to hold on here. So we're, we're still alive. We go to two. They draw a card, lose one life. Big fin bouncer, I think. We, we, need, we need a two for one here. That's not gonna be it. Uh, yeah, we lose. It's unfortunate. Again, I think we win this game on the play. Um, although, we didn't draw our th third land, I think, until turn three, so we wouldn't have drawn it, but really close game. It's just like, we just get out tempoed a little bit there because we're on the draw. Just bummer. Very close. Very close. Okay. Last game, we're playing Ashene. Oh, a diamond player. That's fun. That's fun. All right. On the play, hand looks solid. Solid. Uh, an early burst lightning or a think twice makes this hand a lot better. What else would be good? Yeah. We're like four more Fabloom tricks. Card's nuts. It's interesting that I think Fabloom trick is like a lot better than Goblin Surprise. In this deck, at least. Obviously, Goblin Surprise is good in like a go-wide red-white ag red, aggro deck, but I think Fabloom Trick is just so much better. I guess it one's an uncommon. Infestation Sage, sure. All right, we got our double Archmage of Ruins, which, again, I much would rather have drawn a Think Twice there. All right, we are drawing lands, but not the right ones. I think seeing an island in the next two draws will make me feel pretty good. Okay, not great. Um, we can blow them out with Fey Bloom Trick. This, this, uh, so I guess it's not really a blowout. If they go to combat, I'm going to tap down the angel here, I think. This is, again, one of those hands. Where are the sorceries and instants? Nighthawk is so good. All right, I'm going to tap the Dazzling Angel. This should shut off the Nighthawk. Island? God damn it. Come on, we can't lose this game because of that. <sighs> okay. All right. Just got to stop drawing permanence, you know? Burst Lightning, Think Twice, Thrill Possibility, Fey Bloom Trick. I, mean, I was going to say Refute, but we don't have Double Blue, which is a problem because we have three Double Blue cards in our hand. If you guys remember, I did add an Island and cut a Mountain. All right, now we're taking four. Uh, I don't want to block that 1-1. One, one. Can I do anything with this? frustrating obviously this is a seven win deck that's just not doing what it's supposed to do right now uh, I guess I'll take it again okay that that honestly does not help me at all because I still have double blue pips and everything so they're doing nothing with six mana up are they concerned that I have a wrath of some sort I don't think there's any blue red wraths like there was in, um, what was that set? The detective set? Murders of Carlo Karlov Manor? Do I need things to cost one less? I just need an island. All right, we got an island. What do we play now, guys? If I play a Tali, it's getting killed for sure, right? 
I think if I play anything, it's getting killed for sure. I don't think I can afford to play Arcane Epiphany right now. Damn, man. Refute? That's it, man. We lose. That stinks. Yeah, I mean, I don't think we 100% lose. We're going to take three here. We'll go to three. They'll have three creatures. We'll have none. So if we draw... Nope. Alright. I mean... We hit Diamond, and then we got all our losses. This deck is definitely a seven winner. I mean, this deck was awesome. Uh, it's funny, a lot of those games where we... Like, the past two games, we drew both of the... Um, the wizard guy. This guy. We drew two of the Archmage of Ruins, right? If that was a Burst Lightning... Games are so different, right? We killed the Nighthawk five turns ago. Uh, it's tough, right? And that's why that's why I was really on the fence between Burst Lightning or another Archmage of Ruins. Because two, two is great, don't get me wrong, but there's things we needed, right? Um, I, I still think the deck was excellent. There's just too many games. We just drew, like, so many more mountains than islands. So it's uh, unlucky, but I'm not going to complain. We still went 6-3, so we hit Diamond. We got our wins in the right order, right? We could have lost three and then won six, and that wouldn't have made it, so... Uh, that's good, and we found a diamond player. We lost to a diamond player, so fair enough. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. Thanks for watching. Sorry it's very similar to my draft a couple days ago. What day was that? That was a video on the 15th, so that was four days ago currently. It'll be, this video is going to come out, today's Tuesday. It's going to come out on Thursday, so Thursday's the 21st, so six days later. But I have two Archmage of Ruins, Archmages of Ruins, so... Uh, and the other deck had a um, Slagstorm, which was a big, big part of that deck. So check out that video. It's a fun. It's a good one. It's actually... It's a really good video. If you haven't seen that, check... Like, it's a really good video. That's all I'm going to say. Wait. I'm getting my... Maybe I'm getting my decks... My drafts confused. Uh, no, that's a different video. It's still a good video, but it's not the best video ever, which I thought it was. I'm going to stop talking. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Love all the likes.